My name is Andrew Harper and I'm from Meninga. Sure, so when we talk about being market leaders, we're one of the oldest PFM providers, so that's how the company started. This is digital money management tools. The focus here is just to drive customer engagement within a bank's digital channel, so we're a white label software provider. Uh, the point of this, you know, if you look at what Monzo are doing, Revolut, Apple with the new card, it's all around the basics of just uh, financial kind of context on your transactions. So you're looking at categorization, merchant mapping, where transactions have taken place, insights on your finances. Uh, but the key for us is then just driving this engagement through personalized advice based on a user's finances, allowing banks to use this to leverage for personalization when it comes to product recommendations. And our focus going forward now is to expand onto this, go more into this personalization. So we have a rewards platform, which is cashback offers. This is bringing banks, merchants and consumers together, where merchants are using um, our system which has machine learning and algorithms to segment users where they want to target them for specific campaigns. These discounts are served through the bank's digital channels. And kind of bringing these two products together, the core of what we're doing, it's all around using transaction data. It's the best predictor of kind of future intent. So it's using this to really personalize services and be able to look at the behavior and use that as a predictor for next steps and how uh, banks can leverage that. I mean, for a fintech like us, conferences are kind of a staple for uh, lead generation, for getting to network and get to speak to banks. Um, so for us now, we're market leaders in Europe. We feel now is a good opportunity for us to come to the US and really show them how we've been innovating in Europe, how we can bring our solutions to help benefit the banks here. Uh, so that's why we're at Money 2020 and it's been a really good event so far. It's the core of what we do. So if banks ask us this question, then it's very much in uh, the, the core of the solution, which is the consolidation of data. So this is harmonizing and enriching transaction data. As I mentioned around what Apple and the others are doing, it's that core context. Where am I spending my money? How am I spending my money? And that's the power of our engine. So when we involve in uh, dialogues with banks, we often do proof of concepts. We very often, if not most times, always come out on top in terms of performing with, with what we do. And that's why they choose us. And I think it's also the vision that we have, the way we look at user experience, how to uh, implement this kind of functionality. It's crucial to the end user experience. So the evolution of our products. So around what's happening in Europe with PSD2 and open banking, we have a product that's helping with aggregation. So not the aggregator, but if you like the aggregator of aggregators really making the bank's job easier to bring data in from outside the organization. That's at, that's at the, the base level, that's an enabler for the services that we have. But as I was mentioning before, it's all around this predictive behavior. So being able to recognize patterns based on historical transaction data and being able to use that for driving personalization of insights, product recommendations, uh, and the focus on this rewards platform. So these are the cashback discounts that merchants are funding and putting into the bank's channels. Yeah, we've got a few strategic partners. A few years ago, we were always unsure if we should take investment from banks because we work with banks. We wanted to remain impartial. But it's actually one of the best moves we've done is allowing banks to invest. So that includes the likes of where the company started in Iceland, Islandsbanki, uh, Unicredit Group, Swedbank as well. Uh, and this is, those relationships have really been helped by this investment because we're working together on a much closer level. Of course, there's boundaries of sharing of information, but on a, a uh, relationship level with those banks, then it's on a group level and we've had some great success. And then others to mention here in North America, Tangerine Bank, fantastic partnership with them. Uh, also a great partnership with UOB in Southeast Asia. Overall, we'd like to think all of our partnerships are a success and going well. Uh, and that's what we really try and do. We have a team dedicated to looking after clients uh, and yeah, helping to nurture these relationships.